so let's read research and we are going to look at how students in crowded dormitories are more prone to airborne infections so this is a research which has been done uh, by sun wang zhang sandal in 2011 in china and this is the link and the qr code for the link to the original uh, publication which you can easily access uh, from anywhere and this is in the plos one journal the research copyright notice this is a uh, copyright of sun et al and this is under the creative commons attribution license which is available at this web link this is the disclaimer of warranties please read it carefully and this is a notice that this is only for academic and research purpose and this does not qualify as medical advice now let's look at the research so in this research you know this is a two phase research where in the first phase what they did is that 3712 students living in 1569 dorm rooms in 13 buildings were asked questions you know about how many times in a year did they get common cold uh, and you know like other questions like with open their windows how many people were there in the room we look at all those questions uh, briefly and in the phase 2 in some of those rooms like in 238 dorm rooms in these 13 buildings uh, you know ca carbon dioxide concentrations were measured now why are you measuring carbon dioxide concentration because carbon dioxide is a surrogate or a proxy or a biomarker for example in a room for example if there are uh, there is one person and if he is breathing and the window is closed now what is going to happen he is going to release a certain amount of carbon dioxide but in the same room if there are five people and the windows are closed and you know five people are breathing because they are taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide the amount of oxygen will become lesser because the windows are closed and the amount of carbon dioxide will be more so what does that mean is that a the number of people are more that means it's crowded number 2 because there is no replacement of this carbon dioxide which is being built up inside with the outside air there is no replacement because the windows are closed it is also a reflection of how much ventilation is happening in this room so this is a relation between the crowded dormitories the ventilation rates and the occurrence of common cold and this is a evidence of airborne transmission which is you know uh, there, there's a lot of uh, conversation about whether it is through fomite or through touch transmission you know whether if you sneeze somewhere and uh, there is touch or there is secretions on the surfaces and somebody else touches it and then there is some kind of an infection or there are small small droplets into the air when you sneeze or you talk or when you cough and the other person gets it this is a 2011 research we are way ahead a decade ahead uh, you know after that and we have done more research but it's very important to understand their methodology of research and what the kind of setup that they did now this was a dose response relationship uh, where which was established between the outdoor to indoor flow rate uh, inside the dorm rooms and the occurrences of annual common cold infections in this particular room so the objective simply as i have already mentioned is to test whether the incidence of common cold among college students in china is associated with ventilation rate and crowdedness in the dormitories and the conclusion of this research right away is that crowded dormitories with low outdoor to indoor flow rates are associated with more respiratory infections among college students now you know uh, even though these infections are small but they have Im immense impact on the society because you know they let lead to lesser uh, working hours working days per person so there are three major ways of transmission of viral infections so in case of common cold it is rhinoviruses and uh, that is through contact with secretions or fomite then there are large airborne droplets which is within a shorter range like 1 or 2 meters before falling down and then that is when a person sneezes and then there is also small droplet nuclide which is airborne suspension of the virus particles which can be transloaded transported to longer distances and can stay for a longer period of time now another way uh, you know in which you know uh, like a lot of other people have done research on this you know four army training centers uh done by brundage et al found that disease rates were higher among trainees in modern energy efficient barracks that had low 
ventilation rate there are other studies which can be read so what these people did in the phase uh, one and phase two was that they you know kept changing the in the phase two especially they kept changing the amount of uh, outdoor air that was coming in first they kept in for two centimeter open the door then five centimeter then 50 percent open the door between a particular time period and they found out that it was definitely you know the relationship between uh, ventilation rate and the occurrences of common cold this paper is easily available in the website uh, it was found that less crowded rooms you know one of the findings one of the discussions is that less crowded dorm rooms occupied by phd students in this particular dormitory setup were associated with less common cold infections and at the end what we want to say is that crowded and outdoor air ventilation per person you know crowdedness and outdoor ventilation per person are important for spread of airborne infection diseases in rooms such as dorms where people spend a lot of time respiratory viruses can be trans emitted through air so that transmission is modulated by outdoor air supply rates i request you to have a look at this paper the links are given in the description and you know it requires a thorough reading of this paper but the core of the the core message or the core findings of this paper is that there is a relationship between outdoor air flow rates and the occurrences of common cold which is a virus uh, viral spread you know uh, disease so it is very critical today as we are dealing with a pandemic which is also viral and which also spreads through the airborne route thank you very much